What up, family? Charleston White. Back at it again. I got to say that, you know, the Bun B situation have caused a lot of uproar amongst the community. Reasons why? Because people didn't expect Bun to um, testify in the case with somebody came and broke in his home. Now, the street code way heavy. You know, well, it used to weigh heavy. And when it comes to a lot of different things, people are starting to look at things different, right? Meaning that this Bun B situation is a catch-22. It's a split situation to where a lot of street dudes feel like, you know, he's wrong. The majority of street dudes that's uh, still in the streets and the ones that's OGs, but have been there, they feel bummed because they recognize um, what life is, how precious life is, how real it can get. A person can take your life at the snap of a finger, fam. And when it comes to this situation, that could have went down. Bun B was upstairs with his, with his wife, with the pip, dude got the pistol on the wife. Like Bun B come down on some heroic type thing that most niggas, excuse my language, wouldn't even do. Might have stayed upstairs. Now, when it come to Charleston, you know Charleston going to speak his mind. And he went on a live, and they was asking Charleston about this Bomb B situation and what did he think. Bun, I mean, Charleston White is saying that he, now Bun, first he played like Bun B, he's like, no, nah, no, nah, he, 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 he told Bun, that's called telling. Charleston White is saying it's the difference between snitching and telling. And pretty much what he's saying is Bun B told on himself also about him shooting the dude and everything that he didn't ignite it. He wasn't on no crime with the dude and then said something. This got something to do with a person invading his home and he told what happened in the process of him shooting an individual. And I understand that process, but like I say, the streets don't. Now, when it comes to Bun dropping the music that we heard Bun dropping, UGK, you know, they known for this certain type of aroma, this certain type of get down on them tracks, and it was all street, right? Would Pimp C agree with what Bun, what Lee, you come in, would Pimp C agree with, with Bun doing what he's doing? Um, and one may say, well, if Pimp didn't agree, was he his real brother from the jump then? Because this got something to do with this man's family, that he could have lost his life. Like anybody that's saying that Bun is wrong right now is lost in the sauce. And it's sad to see how many people, just like I used to be, just lost in the sauce when it comes to doing the right thing, protecting your family, being a family man, going to work, just living life, fam. Everybody wants you to uphold these images that they ain't really even upholding. And then it's a cursed image, fam. All the individuals that I was in the streets with and we was looking at the dudes that was working the jobs I had, the family, them dudes is, is winning right now. You feel me? They cashing out 401k, got businesses and everything. We wasted 20, 30 years just wasted in the streets with some Negroes that didn't even really rock with you, females that didn't even uh, really rock, rock with you, chasing the ghost, an image for other people. The streets is just about image. It ain't about realness, and the image is not real if you don't know. You understand? So when it comes to the dope boy, when it comes to the killer, when it comes to the player, when it comes to the pimp, all that is just image, fam. It's nothing real about it. People is attracted to the image. Once the image gone, you go to jail or dead, you just gone. You get broke after you had money, that image gone, you just gone. People act like they don't even know you no more. That's how real the game is, fam. That's why I appreciate um, individuals, and even though Charleston do what he do, but I appreciate his message and the things that he say because it ain't one-sided. A lot of the streets, the gangsterism, all this, uh, these codes of conduct is, is one-sided, fam. And when you're living off a of one-track mind, one-sided, you're only going to get a few things in life. You feel me? Your actions, your mind, you know what I'm saying? Your thinking attract what's come to you in life. So if you always on hood shit, you thinking hood shit, this, that's what's going to come. Hood females, hood things, drugs, that's what's going to come. But if you thinking big, dreaming big, 
You know what I'm saying? You're going to get what's, what's on your mind, but it got to be solely in you with faith. And I'm saying all that to say this, fam. Bun B stood up, did what he's supposed to do. Charleston White saying it's telling, that's what it is. He he did tell and told on himself and said, hey, you know, I had to shoot the dude. He come, you feel me? That's telling on himself. This should go to show all of you individuals that put these artists up to a pedestal. I don't care if you grew up with them or you're a new individual, you own these new artists now. You're YG that's coming up in the game. Do not ever in your life, don't make the mistake that I made thinking that these dudes was, was idols. You feel me? Like they didn't make no mistakes. This is how I know it's, it's, it's Satan, fam. This is how I know that hip-hop is, is, is witchcraft because of the thinking that our culture think of these artists, fam. Like they'll take up for these rappers or before they even do it with their families. I see it all the time. Like they're sure different rapper material on social media and I'm like, damn, your cousin rapping off. Your cousin got this business and I never seen you share nothing on that. That's how much it weigh heavy, fam. You know, that's how much that voodoo be on individuals and they don't even recognize it. They think they just fans, fam. But it's really caught behavior. You got people that was arguing, ready to kill each other off the Drake and Kendrick Lamar beef. Like straight up. That's something, fam with our culture. And the thing about it, everybody wanted to see this beat. People, when they see the fights in the hood, man, they pulling out cameras, you can bend on almost losing your life and the camera is, is still going, man. That lets you know how people, and you got them same people that be recording, we see on these fights and the dude that's getting his ass whooped or whatever the case might be with all these people. And he, they record him still saying, hey man, you all right? You know, in the, like, come on, man. Like, is this what it is? And it be the same people you you when you living in these hoods, different places, you smiling in the faces of the same people that want to see you down. But you gotta smile in their faces in order to survive. This causes mental health problems. This causes you not to know who you is as a person. That's why it's good to separate, move to the country, go somewhere else, get out the hood, find peace, and find who you is as a person. Because with all these different things, like what we hearing they saying about bun right now. You feel me? Like all these different things that one have to uphold and do. All these different image uh, things of approval that these YGs got to go through. I hate they do. That we had to go through too and it's meaningless fam. Life is all about, you know, getting uh, a career. You know what I'm saying? Something that you can leave for your, your, your grandkids, your kid, kid. Not this hood stuff. Life ain't about being around homeboys every day, all day. What is you going to learn? What is you going to get? You feel me? That be Charleston White message. This is Bun B message right now. Showing the individual that protect your family and stand up for what you need to stand up for as a man, regardless of what nobody have to say, family. But make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.